Ropies are high strength plastic clamps that allow you to easily form eyes in soft rope without the need for any splicing or tying knots in the rope. In today's video, we'll talk about ropies and how you can easily put them to use for your application. Ropies are made from high strength UV resistant plastic, type 316 stainless steel screws, and brass embedded nuts. The combination of materials is great at resisting corrosion from sun and salt air marine environments. Ropies are most commonly used for light duty type applications, such as projects around the house, light duty marine applications, and much more. Ropies can be used either by themselves or with a booster clamp, which doubles the strength of the connection. To install a Ropies rope clamp, first secure the strands of rope with electrical tape, ensuring that at least a three quarter inch wide length of tape is wrapped around the rope. Then cut the rope to length, making sure that there is at least a half inch length of tape remaining at the end of the rope. Disassemble the clamp and place the non-threaded side on a flat surface facing up, with the screws protruding through both holes. Place the end of the rope on one side of the clamp and use the live end of the rope to form the eye to the appropriate size needed. The rope should be positioned in the clamp as shown. Check to make sure that the eye does not exceed an included angle larger than 30 degrees if you plan on attaching it around another object. In general, smaller angles and larger eyes will provide for a stronger termination. Place the other side of the clamp on top and make sure that the screws are properly aligned with the threaded portion of the clamp. While squeezing both sides of the clamp together, Flip the clamp over and begin tightening the screws while alternating between the two. Double check that the rope is not protruding from the sides of the clamp and if necessary, tuck in any rope with a flathead screwdriver or similar tool. Make sure not to over tighten the screws since doing so may reduce the strength of the termination. When installed correctly, the clamp and rope should look as shown. For an even stronger connection, a booster clamp assembly can be installed. To install a booster clamp assembly, first disassemble a booster clamp and place a non-threaded side on a flat surface facing up, with the screws protruding through both holes. Place the dead end of the rope in the booster clamp so that there are two clamp lengths of rope extending past the clamp. Use the live end of the rope to form an eye to the desired size needed for your application and place the live end of the rope onto the other side of the clamp. Assemble the booster clamp and make sure that the threaded side is correctly oriented in relation to the non-threaded side, and then tighten the screws so that they are flush with the bottom of the clamp. With the booster clamp in place, assemble a rope clamp to the dead and live end of the rope as previously shown and make sure that both legs of the rope are evenly tensioned between the two clamps. When installed correctly, your booster clamp assembly should look as shown. If you'd like to include a thimble in your termination to protect the rope's eye, follow the same procedure as a soft eye and make sure the thimble is snugly secured in the eye to prevent it from popping out. Along with forming eyes, ropies can also be used to join two separate lengths of rope together using a lap splice. This can be achieved using either two rope clamps, or for added strength, two rope clamps and two booster clamps. When forming lap splices, all clamps should be placed at least a clamp's length apart from one another. The load ratings for ropies are based off of hundreds of tests that we've conducted, which have allowed us to provide our customers with the best product possible. Below you'll find a table containing all the information regarding the working load limits for all of the ropies sizes that e-rigging carries. Ropies can be used with many different types of rope, but are most commonly used with solid braid nylon and solid braid polypropylene rope. Typically, three-strand nylon rope runs true to size when being paired with the same size ropies clamp. However, a triple-strand dense type rope such as kern mantle or hemp rope will require a larger size clamp for it to fit properly. We hope this video has answered any questions or concerns you might have 
about the installation and use of ROPEs in your application. If you have any further questions, please refer to our website or check out our YouTube channel for more informational product videos. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.